Can we all agree on one thing though? Weddings are only for the bride. I've argued this a lot with people, partly because wedding ceremonies are too long and I need ways to help me forget about the pain in my arse that church pews are especially designed to provide, but mostly because it's true. It just is. Tell me, how many exotic dancer themed weddings have you been to? How tasty was a rack of barbecue ribs and burgers you were served at the meal? How many unreal cares did the groom talk about during his vows? Exactly. It's all flowers, dancing and romance. Typical feminine things. Go ahead, ladies. Name one lie that the green duck said. One. I'll wait. Just one. <sighs> this is so boring. Okay, okay, jeez. I'm so sorry, Villanelle. Fuck, you'd think with a poetic name like that she'd be a bit more calm and sophisticated. Then again, most women are anything but these days. The answer, dear females, is you can't. Because, as he said... It's true. Granted, I've yet to go to a gay wedding, so my scope is a little bit limited, but honestly, I think I could have a lot of fun with that. Now that I think about it, neither have I. I have been to a couple of lesbian weddings, but in both cases, the couples were a pair of nerds. So the weddings were nerdy-themed. Though neither were as fun as you might think. I mean... One of them was at a donut shop, for crying out loud. Which may have also tied into why both brides appeared to have a hundred pounds each on me. You see that? Your days are numbered, girl. What? Those fellas were the first to push for gay rights, we invented the sex change, and now we can marry each other. You women don't realize we're only a breakthrough in childbirth away from not having to put up with your shit anymore. <laughs> you know, if I didn't know any better, I'd start to speculate that Ducky watches turd-flinging monkey. You ain't going crazy, it's all in your head.